Everyone, hope everything's going well. I wanted to touch base on this one story. Uh, Tiffany Cards posted on it. I was messaging Tiffany Cards last week. This was, what, 4th of July weekend or the time off. I was off during that time frame. Didn't really do videos. I posted a video of, like, what, Cricket Cards International, but I did that before the 4th of July holiday. Posted it, I think, what, Friday. And I wanted to touch base on this. It was a Michael Jordan 1996 SP autograph. It was what? A PSA 8 autograph 9. And I was sent this. And what I ended up doing was I reached out to multiple people that are experts in Michael Jordan cards, specifically autographs. I asked, hey, look, do you believe uh, this is a legit Michael Jordan autograph? And uh, some people were saying, hey, look, we got to do some more research. We got to do more digging on this. And I said, OK, that's fine. And uh, meanwhile, I was talking to another individual who actually owned this card and try to put everything together uh, that individuals were sending me. Just a lot of the information. I was trying to research, hey, look, is this card swapped out? I thought it was swapped out at first. When I looked at it closely, no, it's the hologram of the card. But here's uh, what happened. Here's why it most likely was deemed fake. The card is based on a faked auto. You can see when you look at enough legitimate copies, that was one of the arguments of why it was fake. Two, a legit COA sticker was ripped but was placed vertically as opposed to horizontal like other legit copies from a faded signed SPX Redemption Michael Jordan autograph card. And uh, there's also other items as well. And basically a fake COA letter missing the lot number stamp was included. So putting all that together, this probably allowed PSA to... <coughs> deactivate this card and you have to ask the, ask yourself the question how many more Michael Jordan cards with autographs are quote unquote fake I did a video this was about 10 months ago you could take a look on this on YouTube and the video was called <coughs> bombshell PSA graded several FLIR 86 Michael Jordan fake autographs. In that video, what I first discussed, or the video before that, I said, hey, look, um, there's this uh, individual, I think in Florida, Better Call Bankin. It's a program out on a show, WFLA. And this one investigative reporter she researched this and said, hey, look, BWCC is not taking care of this individual. It's a fake autograph. PSA said that, hey, look, this is a fake autograph because the individual bought from PWCC, sent to PSA, <coughs> and nothing was happening. Like, it would, he spent like 34 grand, something ridiculous on the card. It came out as, hey, this is not a real auto. Card's real. Autograph is fake. It was going nowhere. So then he went to Better Call Bank in a show. This individual then had, or Better Call Bank in, that inv individual who runs the show, she contacted PWCC, and PWCC was like, oh, man, uh, we got to take care of this. We don't want bad PR. That's how you get these firms. It's not on YouTube where they care about the negativity they care about when it hits the mainstream media hit the mainstream media and then that's when pwcc said hey we're gonna take care of our customers blah 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 it's all nonsense it's all pr 
they took care of it. But what ended up happening was, once this cert got canceled, you had stories in cardboard. This individual, Chris, he found out <coughs> that there were many cards before and after that cert number that got decertified and they were all Michael Jordan autograph cards and they were fake. So you have to ask yourself the question, what other cards of Michael Jordan are fake? I'm glad to see that PSA took care of this, but if you're gonna be spending high-end money on Michael Jordan autographs, do your due diligence. Just don't throw high uh, all this money in it because these companies, they care about margin. And they don't act all the time. They don't act all the time because it hurts their bottom line. So let me know your own thoughts and I'll talk to you later. See ya. Bye.